So in this video, we want to talk about Gamma and how we can create a nice looking presentation with Gamma. Before we start, really important, you will find the link to Gamma down in the video description. It's a partner link. So thank you a lot if you're using my link to sign up. It will help me to create more of these videos in the future. So just click on it and it will directly take you to this page. And here you can start for free and you can choose your language. So once you have signed up, you will land on this page and you can see I have worked quite a lot with Gamma and let's start right a way to create something new and we can either paste in a text so for example in school if you have an essay then you can just put in your essay and it will create something from the essay or you can import a file or a URL from your homepage or most of you I think will just generate a prompt and just describe what kind of presentation you want. With Gamma you can do presentations, web pages, documents or social media posts but for now let's take a closer look at presentations. So first we need to decide how many cards we want in the free version you can have eight to ten cards i upgraded to pro but you can also have premium and then it will give you 25 cards but i think eight cards are now fine and you can say what kind of uh, page style you want to have fluid so some smaller pages and bigger pages or you want to go with 16 to 9 ratio and of course again your language we describe it now in english so you can use it for business or for school i will just put myself back in school and i now need to create a presentation about the national parks in America and this is what I prompt now. So my prompt would be give me a presentation about the five biggest national parks in the US and which one to choose for our next school trip. We are based in Los Angeles and now it will generate me an outline and you can see it's quite fast. So these are all the national parks already and you can change something about it but I'm always quite happy with the results and if you need another card you can just add it but don't worry we can also add these later and now depending on your audience you can choose if you have a minimal text style or concise or very detailed. So I think in school, like a concise amount of text would be enough. And now we can also just choose a theme for school, maybe a lighter theme, maybe something green, sage. This will look good with national parks, I think. But again, also you can change this later. And now we need to select an image source. So either we have full AI images, so every image will be generated by AI, or you can also use stock photos from Unsplash or or you can set it to automatic and it will choose some stock photos and some AI images or even GIFs from Giphy. But I'm good with AI images because it's an AI tutorial and you can have different style illustrations or photorealistic. So I will choose this one photorealistic and now uh, we can click generate. But if you want more options, you can also click on advanced. So here you have some more options, but I don't really need that. So I can just click on generate. And now it's creating for me the new slides from my presentation. And here comes the image and another image. Of course, the images take longer because they need to be generated. But this looks already quite nice. This is a glacier in Wrangell St. Elias National Park in Alaska. And this will be now the gates of the Arctic National Park also in Alaska. This image takes quite long. So let's go to the next one. This is like a nice looking bear and a bear fishing. <laughs> that looks kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Yeah, this is a bear fishing in the wild. So let's go from the top and have a look. So Americans five biggest national parks and uh, this is the first slide and it will start with the first national park and then the second one. This usually doesn't take so long, but let's give it a little bit more time. And that looks already really nice, like the steps one, two, three, and the picture is also really nice. And down here, yeah, if you want to add something, you can just, of course, go in and add some text. You can just start writing your own text so you can just add your own text here and if you don't like the picture because it looks quite unrealistic you can either generate a new one with AI or we can just copy this one and then go on Unsplash which is a free stock photo database and here it already gives us some pictures which we can use for example this one is really nice and this will look way more realistic and of course you can edit the text so if I want to have the headline a little bit more in bold I can just go ahead and do that that so the headline stands out a little bit more but why the effort I mean it already looked nice before I just wanted to show you that this is not set in stone of course you can just go in as you would do in PowerPoint and create your own text you can also link stuff so here you have the link option you can cross something make it italic or bold as you've seen so that's very much like you would do it in PowerPoint so nothing new here and of course the pictures sometimes I think this one doesn't look too realistic so you can 
just get rid of it, just delete it, or you can just ask AI to do another image for you. So now you would go ahead and check if the content is right. I think it's quite nice. Recommendation is now to go to Death Valley National Park, the planning, the activities and the next steps. So if you would be like a student now, you can just present it to the class. But if you need some more convincing, you can go ahead and create a new slide with AI and then it will just add another card to your page and you can describe, for example, calculate the costs per individual for our trip and just hit enter and now it will do an extra slide for how much it will cost us to go to death valley and now <laughs> this is already really nice it put like a saving pic here with a calculator in front of a picture of the death valley and now the cost will be bus travel 30 euros camping fees food and water and of course you can just go in and make it maybe the bus from los angeles a little bit more expensive and the camping fee is also more expensive because everything nowadays is really expensive so you can just edit the car as you like and here on the right you have all the options you have basic text blocks which you can add but you can also add tables so for example here you could also add in a table for all the costs you can make a note here you can have like a button there if you want you can embed even code or you can add more pictures from yeah ai and unsplash we already had that you can upload your own video but you can also embed a video from youtube from tiktok or even from spotify like a song and you can embed more stuff from instagram google drive figma Miro, which is like a whiteboard animations thing and you can also insert a pdf so that's quite nice and if you need to visualize the whole thing you have a column chart a bar chart a line chart so pretty much everything you have in powerpoint but a little bit nicer because it just looks nicer and if you're done then you can go ahead and click on share and then you can either share it with your colleagues with your work members or you can export it as a pdf if for example this would be like a slideshow for an investor and you want to have some funding then you can send it or to your teacher for the trip you can also send it or you can export it to powerpoint and then even edit in powerpoint or google slide so that's really cool but most of you might just want to present it inside gamma then you can just hit present because what I really like about Gamma, let's go back to the first one, is the animations. So when you go to the next slide, this looks very smooth and nice how everything pops up. So I do like the animations of Gamma. It looks very smooth. Everything looks cool like this one also. And now the presentation would be done. So I think that's very perfect. Now we have a full blown presentation. We made this in under like 10 minutes. And if you want to start right now, you can just go back and create a new one. And don't forget, you will find the link to Gamma down in the video description, just the first one. If you click on it, you can just sign up for free and then you can start creating anything from a presentation to a web page to a document or a social media post. And as you've seen, I did quite a lot already here. So I tested it out quite a bit. It's very cool. Everything looks very nice. For example, this one was for online shops. This was in German. And here I chose a different style of images, more graphic. And I do like it a lot. And it generated me these images. And yeah, if you have any questions, you will find also the comment section. And if you're down there, feel free to leave it a like. And thank you for listening. And start now with Gamma and make your next presentation. Bye.